Mighty Wolf TV. Hey guys, it's Trevin Scheller, owner of My Wolf TV, and man, this playthrough long overdue. Been wanting to play this, been wanting to play for this for so many years now, but just never did it. I'm just gonna delete the save file. So I just, so just last week, I actually beat this game like 100 percent or 120 percent for the very first time. I played Spyro 2 for the first time also. Still playing for it currently. Like I'm doing that for like um emulation on my Steam Deck. What about this Ganasty But this video is literally proof I own the game, so it's fine. But yeah, man, this game is great. And I will say, like, we've played a lot of crash games lately. Definitely taking a break of Crash. Time to let Spyro shine. I'm sure a lot of people would also expect me to play for the Reignite Trilogy version of this, but like... But like... I, I'm a purist. But it's like, you don't... It's like, you want to appreciate, like... You know, what made it, you know? So yeah, this is, um, Spire the Dragon. It's a 3D platformer, much like Mario 64. And instead of collecting stars, you rescue dragons. Yeah, I know there's like, uh, there's 80 dragons to rescue in this whole game. And to save the game, you have to manually go to each fairy. Or just a fairy. And each um, hub world is basically a level. Okay. Also, for some of you wondering if I even have the Raging Eye Trilogy, yes I do. Have it on... I actually have it on everything that they ever released for, except for, uh, except for PC. Yeah, we can't go there yet. So yeah, there's like five worlds in, in this. There's like five hub worlds, basically. Or six, technically. If you count, if you count the last one, which is just a circle. Bas basically. I've, I've, I've said too much. But yeah, I don't know why I put off this playthrough for such a long time. Like, played for Crash Bandicoot 1, 2, and 3 back in 2020. 2024 now. Like, about time I'm finally playing this. Like, I really do love this game. Oh, look, another dragon to rescue. Delbin. Where's Nasty Nork? I'll torch him. Keep your horns on, Spyro. You have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. Yes, yeah, so Sparks, the dragonfly who follows you, is basically your, uh, your health gauge. So, like, he's yellow, so that means you have full health. Then when he gets blue, he's, like, a little lower, then he... 
It's like, you get hit the first time, he turns blue. You get hit the second time, he turns green. And then you get hit the third time, he completely disappears, and that means, like, one more hit and you're dead. And to regain Spark's health, you have to, like, um... Uh, eat dra- you have to feed him dragonflies, basically. It's something, like, most people don't notice when I play for this. Like, I most certainly didn't at first. Like, it's not even in the HUD at all, you just- you just have to look at Sparks. And we got that height. So yeah, I do- I definitely do plan 100% this. You, you, you kind of have to, honestly. That's why, that's why I'm saying I'm going to. I'm not sure about 120%, and you'll you'll see why in a, in a few minutes. Cool flash! Do that again. The artisan's ball. You actually can make him do that again. But you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. Basically, you can't play this level until you play another level. And I know a lot of you probably want me to say this immediately, but, um... But, like... Skylanders... That, that's how I found out about Spyro in the first place. That's actually how I found out about the series. Of course, now I obviously know he's not from Skylanders. I know a lot of you millennials would probably like, you know, punch me so hard if you, yeah, like, if you knew, if you thought that I thought that. Yeah, I know Sparks of Dragonfly was in Skylanders also as a magic item. But yeah, you guys know I played for that. Played for like all, like the first four games on the channel so far. Falling from high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh, that. Okay, I know there's like another guy who's gonna run. He's right there. That's yeah, another thing you could do, you could breathe fire like a real dra like, like like a dragon. But man, what made this game really impressive is that, like, so you know Crash Bandicoot, it was like, just, it could not handle, like, you know, an open world environment. On, like, the PS1, but that was back in, like, 1996. And somehow they managed to find, like, a workaround to make it so, like, this game could be completely open world and, and embrace the heck out of it. So that's what sets uh, Spyro and Crash apart from each other. Crash is linear and Spyro is open. Or at least for me, that's what sets them apart. Not sure which one I prefer. Like, yeah, I played more Crash, but I, I don't know. I think I just think Spyro is cooler because of uh, Skylanders. Is there anything else here? Oh right, we have the, that chest over there. So yeah, this playthrough is definitely not blind. I I have 120% of this. Like just just last week, for the for the very very first time. Okay, that's it. We'll also do Town Square first. Why not? There's really no, like, particular order. Just, just play the one that's right there. I also love the transitions... ...that they make. God, the rumble feels so satisfying. Like, just ramming into things. Like, the controller, like, you know, rumbles. Whenever you like hit something, it's it's really I don't know why it's really satisfying. 
Rescue Nils. Welcome to Town Square, Spyro. Begin exploring by gliding to that area with the bulls. Use the L2 and R2 buttons to get a good look. It's funny, you have to use the, the triggers to change your camera. Nah, not the right joystick. Oh, speaking of that, actually, um... Active. I'm so glad I remember that. Yeah, that makes that makes it that makes it a lot better, honestly. Like passive is fine, but like, man, active is so much better. So yeah, the way to 100 percent these levels, you just have to collect every gem and defeat all the dragons. It, it's honestly a fun time. But in some levels, it's easy to get lost. Thanks, Pyro. <laughs> I had the worst itch on the tip of my wing. <laughs> Did you know that you get your longest glides by pressing X at the very top of your jump? Uh, yeah, that's how I got there and saved you. That's something the first dragon should have said, honestly. Okay, where... Oh, it's a bull. Oh yeah, those egg thieves. So annoying. Why is, is that bull stuck there? Oh wait, oh wait, it actually is. I, I thought the game glitched, but then I looked closer and realized that his horns like got stuck in the grounds. Okay, just making sure my game wasn't broken. Alvar. I love how they named every single one. I love how they're like they're all voice acted and they all look different, especially in the uh, Reignite trilogy. Oh man. Like, they went above me on the Reignite Trilogy, honestly. And yes, I do plan to play for that eventually. Yeah, that's like a first try. Hey, look at that. That's how you know I've played this before. Oh, this particular level I've played multiple times. Yeah, definitely a more professional playthrough. Definitely make it easier for the viewers to watch. Though there are, there are some parts in the game I probably still will have tr will probably still have trouble with. Oh, that's right, we do have to torch this, this fan thing. Uh, I think that's it. Okay, there's one gem left. Let's rescue this dragon first. Thor, Thank you as in for Thor Ragnarok. Me. I would think. Yeah, so where's that last gem? Not leaving until we find that. Thankfully though, this level wasn't really that big, so wouldn't, it's not really going to be that hard to find it. Probably around here. Yeah, I would think around this area is uh, where it would where it would be. Oh, it's right there. Okay, well there we go. Yeah, you know you have all the gems if it shows like a dash and then it shows like your your 
um, percent or your amounts I mean and now we are returning home Wait, what? I swear I did not want to go backwards. Okay, so there's- okay, so... I, I've honestly been dodging this, um... So... My disc has, like, a, this one issue. It's like, okay, so my copy runs perfectly except for one thing. Alright, so, um... Okay, so just bear with me on this, okay? So... So literally everything works perfectly, but then there's like this one issue where like, it... So the game softlocks itself. It's like, this. there's literally just this one dragon in the game that I cannot save. And every time I try to, it, uh, it softlocks. I'll, I'll even show that, like, for proof. Like, it... Like, it, like, literally suspends in, like, the, the shattering animation or whatever. That's honestly one of the things I was afraid of in this playthrough. Like, I don't know why it's doing that. And, and no, it's not this one. Well, when I get to it, you'll know. His color indicates his power. When he eats butterflies, he stays strong. Like me. Yeah, let's go back up. Yeah, I remember this level is like a little bigger than um. Than uh, the last one. Like this is really supposed to be the first level. That's a fun way to collect everything here. Now we rescued Lindar. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yeah, because no auto saving in this game. Though I know Spyro 2 has auto saving, thankfully. Yeah, I'm still playing through Spyro 2, so please don't don't spoil it. Like, I, I just got into the second world in that, in that game in my uh, personal playthrough. Like, I'm playing for I'm playing for Spyro 2 for the very first time. Honestly, enjoying it so far. But I will say it is pretty different from this. I'm playing the PS1 versions, by the way, emulated. On my Steam Deck. No, I said that at the start, but like... Just to reiterate... I remember there was a, another egg thief in this level. Okay, so it's actually it's this one. That that's the dragon I can't save. Here, I'll show you. See, look at that. The rest of the game works perfectly fine, but then there's this. Like, it's literally soft-locked. I'm pressing all the buttons. I can't do anything about it. Funny thing, I tried this on the PlayStation 2 via backwards compatibility, and it, it actually worked on that. So, like, I'm wondering if it's, like, the console, or if it's the disc. It's, it's really stupid. So, yeah, please bear with me. We're not going to be able to save Gildas. I'm very sorry. So yeah, now you guys know. I also realized that we didn't save and I we, we lost literally all our progress leading up to this point. So after this video, I'm just gonna 
just gonna like replay those those parts on my own time. So yeah, no no big deal. I, I'm not gonna show, I'm not gonna show that. Don't worry. Got him. Yeah, those guys are super annoying though. Maybe so cool if we could like go on top of this castle, but we cannot do that at all. There's another gem. But I mean, I love how like how open this world is, though. It's like this is crazy for a PS1 game that we can't go past the, these walls. Electric fences. Okay, where? Just finding gems now. Gems, enemies, just anything. But yeah, so the way um, they worked around it is that like they made it. Yeah, and there's also like no fog at all. Like the way they worked around it was that they made it so like, when you get further away from something, the uh, it just becomes like less and less detailed. So like that, that that's how like that's how they did it in uh, this game. Okay, is there anything I'm missing? Oh right, the beach. Forgot about that. Wait, now too far. Away. Oh wait, there's two gems right here. Oh yeah, I didn't defeat these guys when I restarted. God, it really sucks when we can't save that dragon. So yeah, that's why I can't do the 120%. That, that's my excuse. I, I, I literally can't. My stupid disc or, or system, I don't know which one. Yeah, I'm not sure if I should just like replace the disc or not. I, I did have it resurface and it, st it still does that. Believe it, or, believe it or not. But you see, it doesn't it doesn't do that with any other dragon, just just that one. It's so weird. I've also like googled like Spyro One Gildas Softlock and nothing comes up. Like it it's literally just just a me problem. It is ju just a just a Trevin problem. Like me in school, I was the only person that suffered, and everyone else would get stuff right away. But I'm, I'm not gonna go into that. Okay, so now we went to that secret beach area. Now we can go down here. Oh, I actually made it. I mean, we already saved him, so I'm just gonna... Yeah, you can actually skip them. All right, here we go. Putting the key in the chest. And that should be all of them. Oh, it's not. Which one did we miss? Had to have been one of the ones on the top, right? I would think. Where is it? Maybe it's near Gildas, the Forever Traps Dragon in Purgatory. Probably around one of these. Oh, there they are. Okay, we did it. 
Oh, and by the way, you could actually, uh... Yeah, that's... Can't save it. You could just exit the level by doing this. It took me near the end of my original playthrough to realize you could just exit the level by using the menu. Oh, and there's like a little secret right here too. You press on you press all these. Though this was hinted at better on the Reignite trilogy because they had the stones actually glow. But here it is, Sunny Flight, these one of the secret levels. Or probably the only secret level. Yeah, this level is very different because, um, you'll, you'll see. I hope this doesn't stop lock too. Is, is this also soft locked? I know it wasn't before. Oh, thank God. Thank God. I really thought it wasn't gonna work. Yeah, I've played for this one so many times, I could definitely beat it. Like, quickly. Okay, now we gotta go for all these gates. Or, just for the plane. This is the annoying part, the planes. Okay, the... Man, I hate this. I'm... Yeah, much like everyone else, I'm not really a fan of these levels. I mean, being able to fly is cool, don't get me wrong, but like... It's doing all that stuff at once, frustrating. I go for all the chests. Okay, this is gonna be very, very. Darn it. Yep, let's try again. Okay, almost there. Darn it! Yeah, just just die. You screw it up, it's pretty much over. Okay, I'll just go backwards. Get the next train. And then get... Okay, almost got them all. Got uh, half of them. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get it this time. Get, all in, get the all in one thing. Where? Okay, there he is. I'll go for the gates. I'm not sure, but I think you could fly faster if you press the X button. This is gonna be close. So hope I don't hit the water again. Let's 
two left. Yeah, now for the gates, and then we got it. Yeah, we got this. Do we? And we did it. Uh, third try. Yeah, like third try. Try again? No. Well, I almost jumped in there. Okay guys, so uh, that is it for this video. Don't forget to uh, stay tuned to my Wolf TV in the future and have a great day guys. We will be backing up this game very soon. Probably tomorrow. I'm actually going to save the game. And there we go, now I'm just going to re-get all that stuff off screen.